we still have a challenge as speaker that in some areas we either have contradictions or we have curtailed the involvement of the youth, even as much as the bread room. I want to address myself to provisions of the Constitution at Article 102, which curtail the young people of this nation in participating in the election of democracy and in the highest office of the land, that's the presidency. That if there would be an electoral process, an electoral arrangement, where we have we have elections being carried out by an electoral commission that is trusted, that is believed, that is supported by the entire nation. This this would be so critical because then people wouldn't have to begin thinking of maybe the only way to change government in our country is to resort to violence. That would be a departure. And that's possible. But it's not possible when the same electoral commission is largely established by a one-sided process. In Uganda here, you don't talk about young people, you talk about vandalized young people. Because their lives are vandalized. We don't have pride in our young people anymore. The president is on record saying, arts courses are useless. How many graduates come out of colleges with degrees in arts? Is that to say they are useless? And therefore, what is the strategy for you as government to see that these young people who have done these arts courses have a livelihood strategy? If democracy is majority rule, it should also imply that the resources of this country should go to the majority who are the young people. Is that the case? Absolutely not. How do you involve young people in a democratic process when they are on empty stomachs? Will it be sustainable? That's why, Mr. Speaker, sir, this government and this country is using young people as mercenaries when elections come. They don't.